So just how do narcissistic people treat the one after you? Well, the quick answer to this question is they usually treat the one after you exactly how they once treated you. So where they used to love bomb you, they will love bomb the new. Where they used to devalue you, they will devalue the new. Where they used to discard you, they will discard the new. They don't change. They often get worse and they often become more manipulative. However, due to the intrigue and the self-doubt and the blame and the shame that a narcissist feeds you and the lack of confidence and being isolated from the world around you you're the one that's usually often left questioning yourself and wondering what you did wrong and what's so special about the new what's better about the new because a narcissistic person can treat you oh so well and then blame you when they treat you so poorly so you genuinely believe that you're at fault for everything that went wrong so when it comes to a narcissistic person moving straight on, it can seem like they've been in a relationship with the new supply for many years and they've often only briefly been in that relationship. They've usually been in that relationship before the narcissist ended the relationship with you. However, it's the narcissist love bombing. They're, they're looking to move things on quickly. Nobody falls in love faster than an narcissist who needs a place to live. So they're, they're looking to move things on quickly. They're looking to exploit that person, to get that person to believe and trust within them as soon as they possibly can so that if anyone tries to inform the new supply of who the narcissist truly is, the new supply doesn't believe them because the narcissist is treating the new supply oh so well. And the narcissist has also told the new supply how their friend borrowed money and never paid them back, how their parents were never there for them, how their ex was crazy and bitter and jealous and obsessed and they've often left the ex by just falling silent and ghosting them so the ex through concern and fear and worry is messaging the narcissist and the narcissist family members to try and find out what's wrong to which a narcissist is just turning around to the new supply and saying look see they're obsessed and as the narcissist is treating the new supply oh so well the new supply can actually start to imagine why somebody would become so obsessed and they feel so lucky that the narcissistic person has chosen them not realizing just how unlucky they are that the narcissistic person has chosen them they will be out if they can afford lavishing with extravagant gifts and extravagant trips to treat the new supply oh so well and if at all possible they will be delivering all the promises that they still owe the ex to the new supply and then they will be trying to flaunt this all over social media to rub the old supply up the wrong way so when the old supply questions and doubts themselves or speaks out about it the narcissist can just claim that well they're better they're bitter you, it's natural when someone has lied to you and deceived you it's natural to be angry and resentful your bitterness isn't because that person is oh so amazing. Your bitterness is because that person treated you so horrifically and then moved on with somebody new like nothing ever happened and he's treating them oh so well. And you don't realise at some point when the narcissist doesn't get their own way with the new supply, they'll more often than not come running back to you so they will flaunt their new supply if they can gain a reaction they also flaunt their new supply to kind of prove to the outside world that they're not the problem and that they can hold down a steady relationship when they can't actually hold down a steady relationship because they literally jump from one relationship to the next to the next to the next they cannot hold down a steady relationship Otherwise, they wouldn't be moving straight on from one to another to another. When a relationship breaks down, there's, there's healing to be done. There's questions to be answered. There's lessons to be learned, which you can 
you can do with someone by your side. However, it's easier to stay single for a bit and figure things out. It's, it's rather messed up when those who can't stay loyal cannot stay single and those who can stay loyal and faithful choose to remain single. Now, with some narcissistic people, they will hide the new supply to cause that intrigue or because their family or their friends might look poorly on them. So they've got that image to hold. So they're going to hide the new supply from people. Yet they'll be lying to the new supply and the new supply will believe the lies that the narcissistic person is telling them. So they do move on very fast because they're looking for that supply from people. If they can move on to somebody and claim that the old supply is crazy, then they gain the sympathetic attention from the new supply. And while they're treating the new supply oh so well, they're also gaining that admiration that they believe that they are entitled to. Narcissistic people are looking to use your emotions against you. And when you're coming from an emotional state, an emotional response, it often works against you when it comes to dealing with narcissistic people. They, they seem to take all logic out of your mind and you begin to question whether you're the unreasonable or the irrational one because you don't see the red flags until you are out of the situation. You don't recognise it because you've not learned about it. You've not had the life experience to understand it. And as people can fall in love quickly and move things along quickly, it seems natural. Yet the narcissist is selling the new supply an illusion of who they can be to exploit the new supply. And when it's no longer working out with the new supply, they start devaluing the new supply. They start isolating the new supply. They start getting the new supply to doubt themselves and question themselves. They will then up and abandon the new supply and either move on to an old supply or move on to another new supply. They use the new supply in order to smear old supplies' names because they're putting on a front of how good they are as a person and how well they can treat somebody how well they will ignore their own children and then treat somebody else's children exceptionally well so that when the narcissist claims that the old supplier will not let them see their children, the narcissist lies are more believable and people enable the narcissist because of how well they're treating the new supplier's children. Yet eventually that also falls through. They're very inconsistent people. If you are patient enough just to watch, you will notice their inconsistencies, not only in the stories that they tell, but in their behaviour. So with the new supply, they'll use the new supply to smear an old supply's name to ruin the reputation so that the narcissist can walk away from the relationship clean like they did nothing wrong and it was all the old supply's folds. They will also, once they've discarded a new supply and moved on, they will then smear that person's name. It's a cycle, it's a pattern of behaviour and they do often get worse, not better. So the new supply isn't treated any better than you are. They're often treated worse than you were. When it comes to narcissistic people, they come along and they play oh so nice and they expect that gratitude and that attention and the rewards, and they want them. And then they raise your expectations of behaviour that you should expect from them. Yet they, they stop treating you so nice and they stop treating you to things and they stop treating you so well. Yet they blame you as to why they've stopped. They accuse you of asking too much of them. So you think you're the one that's being selfish and being too needy. When you're not usually being too needy. When, when you're thirsty, you need a drink to quench that thirst. When a narcissist comes along and showers you with attention, affection and support and then strips it away from you and blames you, you're looking for that attention, affection and support that you once get, once got from them. It's, it's not being needy, it's a requirement that 
we all have as humans that once this person did provide you and then they stripped it away from you and found a way to blame you as to why they took it away because they're highly manipulative people. They claim that you're expecting too much of them so that you ask less and less from them so that you accept less and less from them. However, they will still demand more and more from you and no matter how much you give a self-entitled narcissist it's never enough for them they're always seeking more or they're always envious of another so they find that new supply and go straight ahead to manipulate that new supply to get their needs met by that new supply the new supply is no better or no worse than you are they're just a convenience for the narcissist at that point in time for the narcissist to get their sense of entitlement met if anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.